Hi right, guys, so um, this is the, I guess the second episode. So now, it's from, I guess what has happened since the first one to now is I've just been running around doing a bunch of, you know, just like a bunch of little quests here and there. Finding a bunch of looters, a bunch of sea raiders, things like that. Um, at the moment, I can now um, uh, manage a party of 54, which is pretty good. I also got my first, um, I should say my second. So this is like my second companion that I got, that I recruited. The first one was in, uh, I don't know what city I got him from, but the point is, I managed to raise 15,000 gold uh, and then use it to build a caravan, right? So a caravan is basically um, where you're trading a bunch of goods with those like uh, mules or whatever. Um, then they go from town to town, essentially trading on your behalf. Um, but you need 15,000 coins for that, plus a companion. So we got that out of the way. Excuse me. Um, I got the second companion here. We got 11.7k. So once we get 15, we're going to go ahead and set the caravan. So you see here in the very bottom, it says Caravan Jaime the Golden. So Jaime the Golden, or Jaime the Golden, is the name of my companion. And he's generating 197 uh, coins, and then the... Main party wages are minus 144, which leaves me with a net plus 53. <laughs> Obviously, that's not a lot, but, you know, it'll change with time. I've also been upgrading all of my troops just because that builds up my leadership skill, or my stewardship skill, rather. And obviously, we need that as well. So there's that. Right now, I am... What level am I? Yeah, I'm level 5. And we've got a bunch of new perks, so like the scouting. We got... We already got that before... For this one, we're going to do 2% movement speed, yeah. Um, we have a bunch of uh, stuff here as well. We got this perk here. Nothing significant, to be honest. Uh, but the best one I got so far was this, so plus 5 health, uh, plus 5 hit points, which is what we really need. Anyways, moving on. So right now, what I did was I uh, pretty much traveled across the map all the way to Valandia, which is in the far west, this red clan here. I was mostly around here, uh, just killing a lot of sea raiders, and then eventually ended up here doing a quest. Um, so here's Jaime the Golden, that's one of my uh, companions running a caravan for me. Um, so now what we're doing is, I'm trying to speak to this guy here, he's the leader of uh, Vlandia here, the ruler of Vlandia. I'm actually, I'm essentially going to ask him to see if I can become one of his vassals. Now that we're here in the encyclopedia, let me make sure I just bookmark my own character, actually. Let me just bookmark myself. Yeah, ugly as hell. <laughs> Anyways, so let's go ahead and talk to this dude. Uh, so let's see, there's something I'd like to discuss. I'd like to enter your service. My sword is yours for the right sum. Okay, then offer me 140 dinar whenever you defeat a party of enemies. Or any significant need, uh, deed, I accept. Alright, beautiful. So now I'll, be, I'll have the protection of the Vlandians, essentially. And that, now my flag is their color, so that's good. Right, so that this means that if they're at war, I'm also at war. And sure enough, they're at war with the Sturgeons, aka the Vikings of this game, the Blue Clan. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get a full party of, uh, you know, of 54, which I can now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and join one of the big armies um, so I can be part of those big fights and get a shit ton of SP, uh, XP, which is what I want. So, so far, so good. We're already a mercenary, that's what we want. Um, I do want to find a two handed weapon, that's my preference. Like a two handed weapon, a shield, and then uh, basically archery and like a bow and stuff like that. So, let's recruit more. Oh, there you go. So we got 54, 10.7k Denar, and now we're gonna look at the map, see if there's any big army. So we have an army here, a Elegurons, a Elegurons. So we're gonna go ahead and join that guy. See what he's about. Just heading there now, we're almost there. Okay, nice. So they're actually attacking a castle, they're setting a siege here, which means I can join that. Let's go here. What the hell did I just do? Oh, okay. So let's join the siege here. Wow, 
units. So before that, let's just upgrade. Oh, there's no upgrading, so just prisoners. Let's see. Uh, I mean, this guy's actually pretty good. If I recruit him. Oh, but it puts me over my limit. Never mind. That's fine. Let's go ahead and join the siege here. Wow, 700 units. Oh, damn. Against uh, 118. <clears throat> nice, so there's some Sturgeons behind us here, but I'm, not, I'm just gonna ignore them. I'm not, they're not gonna attack us, they're too weak. Alright, so here they're doing, laying a siege. I'm gonna go ahead and just send troops. There's no reason to. So, wow. The fact that you guys almost freaking died, are you kidding me? How the hell do you guys almost. What? Okay, just to put this in perspective. Um, we're, the, we're on the left side, obviously, with the Blandians, the Red Clan. Um, we got 118 kills, because that's all the units they had, but we suffered 222 deaths and then 257 injuries. So it was like 700 against 11. These guys got 679 uh, knockdowns, which is crazy, or kills. Whatever the case, there's my character introducing himself, building some, you know, building his, rat, his band. Nice, so we can actually recruit these guys here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release everybody, recruit the best soldiers, there you go. Same thing with the prisoners, get the best ones. We're also gonna upgrade when we're at it. And there you go. <coughs> All right, so we got some, oh, by the way, I got some better armor, except for this freaking hat, this shit is ugly as hell, but it is what it is. <coughs> Yeah, so this boat's better, we'll grab that. It's just, you know, we're just gonna scope through them. the items to see if there's anything worth. Uh, guess not. Alright. Let's ignore that. The game is saving real quick. <clears throat> Let's join this army. So again, what I'm doing now is, obviously I'm getting XP by joining the army, but also um, I'm just working my way towards getting a 15k, then also I can set up my second caravan. Um, the, the wages of my party plus upgrading the troops is costing me more money. Obviously the more advanced the troops, the more expensive they are, uh, but it's necessary in terms of getting my stats up uh, on my stewardship. So. <clears throat> it's kind of like a give and take, which it is what it is. Oh, uh, let me upgrade before this guy gets into war. So once again, oh, so my medicine went up. Let's go ahead and increase character's hit points by five. So off rip, I'm gonna select that no matter what. You always wanna have as much hit points as possible. Uh, stewardship again, increase party size. Let's go and raise that up again to, well, let's add another focus point to that. So what this represents is basically the learning rate, like how, how much XP you get per activity. Uh, and then here, we're going to talk about that. Looks like he's going to get into war here. Yeah, so we're chasing these guys at this point. Good, I'm still on the positive. Lock, lock, lock. And there you go. So we have a big, a big fight here. I may as well go and join it. I'm probably going to die, but it's all good. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of freaking units, man. A lot of units. For me personally, I wanna. I don't feel like dealing with the cavalry this time, so I'm actually gonna leave my horse and I'm gonna join the guys on the floor here. I'm just gonna go with the infantry for now. I hate this hat, I really do. <laughs> Let me be on this side, these guys look stronger here. Actually, eh, good matter. Okay, the left hand side is definitely stronger. These guys here, a lot of peasants. I do wonder where my guys are at. So anyways, right now it's 300 of us against 191 of them. Let's just say 300 versus 200 essentially, for now. Until they call more troops into the building. 
somehow my tackles went up to 25, which is good. Yes, I had the cavalry on the far left there. I think on our, yeah, got the cavalry all the way to the left. Yeah, so here we go, so. So these guys, they were just rushing us with a cavalry, with their cavalry. Usually they do that to try to fuck, uh, like mess up your formation. We <laughs> just, you know. Okay, cavalry are flanking from the left. Okay. Well, that just happened actually. It's also cool because when you do these big battles, you can, you know, you don't have one guy controlling everybody. Um, they'll have you, um, say, hey, like, uh, control unit A, B, C, D, etc. And each unit can have either a combination of troops or just one particular type of soldier. So like, uh, you might have one guy governing all cavalry, one guy governing horse archers, for instance, um, archers, so, uh, foot soldiers, etc. Alright, so here, I'm just pressing I want to see where the enemy is at. I have archers to our north here, up this hill, I'm assuming. Yeah, so there's a lot of running, to my surprise. And as you can see, there's no units for me to command for this fight. Um, I chose not to command, but also I don't think they even gave me the option. Even if they did, I wouldn't command. Not yet, anyways. Uh, but here we are, we're still running after these guys. Definitely up this hill. I think now we can probably start shooting. Yeah, I see them. Oh man, these guys always have really, really good shields. Anybody that's familiar with like, uh, you know, like with Norse uh, or Viking uh, history, you would know that like, these guys are fucking excellent when it comes to like, warfare and also just having these shields. Which is pretty dope because you actually can build a shield wall here in this game. Yeah, so they're shooting now. The thing about this game, the audio is really, really good. <laughs> like the sound effects and the way things sounded before. Yeah. So right now my archery is obviously really low, I'm just trying to, you know, land if I can, which will be a little tough if these guys have some ridiculous defense because my archery is really low. There you go, it's landed. So what I really want to do is I want to rush, that's such a beautiful shield wall, look at that. Turn the bottom, the top, etc. Got right into it. Mm -hmm. damage, not a lot of damage. It was a cobble rushing A little bit of damage. Eventually, I will jump in there <laughs> once my um, mission is no more. And also, when they uh, call for the charge. Man, it's a long time. Let's get up in there. You gotta really pay attention to movement, especially if you're not uh, governing any troops or anything. You're not commanding. So right now I'm just trying to do it for now. Damn it. <laughs> now I kind of wish I had my bow. But, uh, so yeah, so we have a shit ton of reinforcements like all the way back. Like back. Got to watch out with that. Alright, so we're getting rushed by these freaking. Okay, I guess I'll keep running because that's what the guy's doing. 
Let's get him though. I'll get that thing of my shield too. Oh, oh man. Good, good, good. It looks like we're going back, but I'm not. <laughs> I want to go meet up with these guys and then we'll go on attack. Actually, you know what? Let's just stay here. There you go. Reinforcements, baby. <laughs> At the very least, just give it like a type of hold if you can. Just can't attack me. There you go. You can. I'll be, I feel bad as you know what's going on. That's really here on there. Yeah, so if you, if you look at the bar up top, I don't know if you saw it, but it moved in favor of the blue line. That just means they got more troops. Right, so now, I mean, we have more. We have two six, one of the six. We still have. Damn, we're just taking a lot of troops. Gotta be mindful of this around it. You don't wanna get like surrounded by the rest of the I'm literally watching him fight for my life, man. What the fuck? Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yeah, nice shit, nice shit. Yeah, I'm surviving him all right here. Of these walls, you can actually zoom in or zoom out um, to see the entire battle. So, right now, we're up basically 100 units, it seems. So, just zooming in. I wonder if you're just trying to find the main battle. Oh, this other guy on the Okay. Alright. Sorry, I'm having to do a match out and putting this camera on it. Okay, here we go. Looks like we won. Oh. Now I'm just picking off spiders. Yep. <laughs> Both percent of the loot is mine, which is good. Then this is just some striders left. Once again. Nice, so this is one of the enemies, so I can, I have the option of either keeping him as a prisoner or just letting him go. Um, obviously if I have him as a prisoner, that's one less enemy, one less um, party that I have to deal with. And then also they're worth a pretty amount of money. Um, but for this case, because I want to level up my charm stats, I'm going to let him go. Um, and I got five skill points in charm, which is what we want. <clears throat> 
You will take these regular prisoners, though. Um, see? Yeah, I could have died. And then we'll level this up. And I'm level 7 now, which is dope. And just like that, I got some much better armor. So first of all, my horse got better armor. I got a better shield. I'm not sure the uh, whatever, shoulder pads. This is pretty dope. These are throwing axes. Um, let's see here. This shield is way better. That's much more hit point. Uh, right here, okay. Can't, for some reason, can't use this horse because I don't have the level yet. I'm um, just scrolling down, hunting bow. Just making sure we review all our options here. We'll just take everything then. And that goes to the first battle. So I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this one and I'll let you guys know what's up with the next one. So what we'll do is we're most likely gonna stay, um, you know, we're most, we're most likely, I hate this hat, I really do actually. Because this is just, bro. Um, okay, let's just get something, even if it doesn't cost a lot of money, just this, this has to go. I like this bear helm, so I'll get that. Um, actually, you know what, I don't. Let's just go with something basic like this, I guess. I don't like that either, Jesus. Alright, let's, um... Yeah, let's just go with this, probably. This is the best, whatever, it's the best armor I got. Um, then we'll just sell all the nonsense that we don't need. Actually, straight again. Everything that we don't need can be straighted out. 4900, boom, and just like that, we can start a second caravan. So let's start well, this now, guy. Street. Form a caravan, 15,000 dinar. There goes my companion, and boom, now we got two guys. And look at that. There's another potential companion. Let's talk to him. Yours him is not a face I know. So you'll find companions in um like these pubs or whatever in the, in the major city of course. Let's uh, land some prisoners. Let's recruit as many troops as we can. Um, we don't need to level anybody up. I'm gonna look at my own stats real fast. <clears throat> um, yeah. Tactics. We're gonna use the shield wall formation because I like that one more. Yeah. Then the charm skill, we'll use it where? For influence from, yeah, for influence from battle. And the last thing we'll have, and then once again, I mean, I do like this a lot. I should put that out max, yeah, <laughs> let's just max it out. Uh, we max that out, we have the units that we need. This is our build for now, and yeah. Um, what we'll do following, you know, what I would will be working on moving forward is I'll just stay in this, uh, you know, stay in this party, in this army, fight as much as I can, obviously, get into as many big battles as I can to get the most XP as I can, and then just remain as a mercenary. Um, they may offer me to join officially, and then they'll give me like my own castle or city, etc. Uh, but until then, I'm just working on getting 100 plus in my party size getting a two-handed weapon, and then also getting another caravan. Um, just as many caravans as possible. But anyways, um, thanks for watching, and I'll let you know how things go for the next one.